Hi, my beautiful Libra. Welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha, Goddess of Life, 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for my lovely Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe, Universal Energy, my sister, my spirit guide, the pure white light, Archangel Michael, Ascended Masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Libra a clear, precise, honest message. This is a general love reading. It won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity. Take what resonated and leave the rest. Thank you to all my Librans that have been supporting my channel. I'm grateful and thankful. And I'm sending lots of love, blessing, and prosperity your way. All right, Libra, let's see what the universe has for you. And I'm sending lots of love. Lots of love to all of you that have been supporting my channel by other personal reading, join Patreon, and also um, like, subscribe, and share, and comment. Okay, so four of wands and four of wow. Okay, so Libra, what I'm feeling here, let me show you guys. There you go. Okay. So, your overall energy, very balanced. Something that you started, something you thought that was very balanced, something you thought that was stable, because four is stability, right? A lot of stability, but you there was something you wanted to grow. I feel like this is a family, a marriage, some type of, you know, commitment here. You expect it to grow. Because with the infinity here, I feel like you are thinking. You are in a thinking mode, whether you should abandon this situation, whether you should leave this relationship behind, whether you should leave this marriage. You are contemplation, you are contemplated right here, whether you should go. Oh, and I've never been back to this card like that, but someone is wishing for something better. And I felt like this, someone is very fit. They could be a special instructor, instructor here. Could be um, fitness instructors. Okay, so of this, of the topic, right? So I feel like someone is, is wishing, you know, and secretly this person is thinking, this is someone that's very, they heal. Four of cups, this is someone that's hard, they heal. They are thinking this is someone that's also wishing to make you see all this star. I felt like, you know, there was spirit guided. I feel like this is, those are orbs. I feel like this is orbs around someone here because there's the moon, you know, and we can see, you know, half and half, which is that, uh, like, a, this is look like a uh, waxing, waxing moon here which is like the second quarter of a uh, uh, waxing, waxing moon. So someone in here is thinking, how could I stay in a relationship? Because someone is going to abandon a, a house, uh, whatever. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. Now I have one card, please, for the person Libra is dealing with. One card. Yes, pay attention, Libra. Mm -hmm. So, the person you're dealing with currently, the universe is speaking to someone here. One card, please, for Libra. I told you. So, there you go. Someone in here is taking a known leap of faith. Someone in here is leaving a situation, leaving a marriage, leaving a commitment. That was once bring a lot of joy, a lot of stability, a lot of contentment. Someone be like, nope, it's time to go. And I feel like Libra, you say deuces, but someone in here, they don't know whomever you are dealing with because we have the crown chakra here. So this person doesn't know you try to move. Nurture. Here you are at the bottom of the deck. 
with with just bleed which is a lot of four so we have triple fours here so the next four weeks is going to be very crucial for someone here could be the person you're dealing with or could be you but i feel like the next four weeks someone is moving and someone is not someone doesn't know that because i feel like this move is very secret because the universe is telling someone here, you could be dealing with a fire sign. This person is moving. They're taking a leap of faith. They are gone. Okay. Libra. Because mm -hmm. I don't think this person is going to tell you. That's why the universe is warning you with the crown chakra here. Yeah, someone is moving to a new home, a new place, no another city, another state. And no one knows. May I have one card, please, for the person Libra is dealing with? I said one, we got two. I told you, look at that. Engagement, wedding. The universe is telling you someone is getting married. You have engagement and, mar and wedding together, which means that someone in here you're dealing with is getting married, and you have no idea. May I have one card, please, for Libra? Mm. Because the engagement is here, I feel like this person hasn't get married yet. But they are going to. Yeah, because all you guys do is flirt, right? I ask, I'm asking to take one more card for Libra. I don't know why. Calling on your soulmate. So... If you just started talking to someone, extended your lighthearted energy to others, your prayers, affirmation, and vis visualization help brings you together. If you are talking, currently talking to someone, this person is getting married. If this person is just, they abandon you, you never heard from this person, they did disappear out of the planet Earth, that's because they are getting married. That's why they abandon you. That's why they disappear because they are getting married. You deserve love. Release your ex. Yep. You guys might be flirting with this person. You might be having a little fun with this person. But then the only thing they forgot to mention. <laughs> um, I'm engaged. I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. So, plot twist. Yes, indeed. Today, someone is, is abandoned is gonna even you guys might even the funny part is and stuff like that you might might even i feel like someone in there might even like so close to this person have no idea this person is in a committed relationship about to get married tie the knot for better or for worse the rest of my life that's what i'm hearing tie the knot Three cards for the person Libra is dealing with. Page of Pentacles. I feel like someone keep everything a secret. This person could be very secretive. And, and also, and also, see, the magician. This is someone is hoping to keep this whole thing. They want some type of instability, long-term stability here. And this person keep it a secret. Because the magician is what the magician do has the police. And I feel like this magician know what they, they are doing. So they keep it a secret. Page of Wands. You could be dealing with someone that is younger than you. Or this person is a little bit immature in a sense. But they know how to do things. They know how to manifest. You see this person here? They are raising the ones. This, like, this is someone in here. They might be young at heart also. That does not mean they're immature. But this person is, they were about to be in a committed relationship. They keep it very private, very secret. This person wave the one and then make magic happen. Look at this. This is someone that's very good at what they're doing. Yeah. They keep everything hush hush. Because this person, uh, they are, they are manipulating the situation. And to be honest with you guys, let me bring you back 
so y'all know what I'm telling y'all is the truth. Ta-da! That's the infinity sign, right? Ta-da! That's the infinity, infinity sign. So whomever, this person here could be, like, listen, the magician could be anyone. It could be an Aries. It could be, you know, it could be an Aquarius. It also could be a Virgo. It could be a Gemini. But it could be any sign. Whoever this person here, they are manifesting something. And they are making sure they are manipulated to cover whatever they are doing <laughs> very well. Because like I said, the infinity sign, infinity sign here, they are about to be in something long term. So we cards please for my lovely Libra. Yeah. So what's going on in here? I feel like you're, you're about to be... Try to blow your brain to try to figure out what's going on with the Eight of Swords. Because I feel like you're a little bit uh, clueless to what's going on. Ah. Knight of Cups. Oh, good Lord. Didn't I told you? Didn't I told you? There you go. Someone is try to keep you in the dark mm -hmm. look at that the ace of swords the truth is coming out though because guess what you are in you are in goddess of life reading so nothing stay and someone is going to regret that too because guess what we have here what's coming to the surface is that the universe is telling the universe Instance, the spirit guy is telling someone here, crown chakra, where it is again? Right here. The universe is telling someone, with this sun, oh, this is clarity. This person is about, someone is about to have freedom, so when they get this clarity, when they get this true, someone is going to feel like a relief, exuberant here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. With the ace of swords and the sun. Hey, who are we dealing with? Look at, I mean, let me make sure you guys see this. The Ace of Swords and the Sun. This is someone who's going to feel truth, clarity, abundance, freedom, exuberance. They're going to feel all of this because someone in here, they have been told the truth by the universe, by the ancestors. Someone in here could be even forget the truth from a dream here. And I feel like there's someone in here, see? That black, you see, you can see the darkness here living. Someone in here get the truth by the universe. But there's more. Who can keep you in a head more than the devil and the magician? So we have someone in here that doing everything in the power to keep something hidden. Oh, they, they, they're keeping this relationship a secret. And they're working on it over time to do that. Because you're dealing with a master manipulation, a master um, manifester. So which means that, you know, it doesn't, I don't have to show you that I can do magic. I can do it without you seeing it. As long as I keep you, I can charm you like a Scorpio, <laughs> Knight of Cups. I can charm you. A white horse doesn't always mean this was, I feel like someone, he's a charmer. They come in, they charm you with this uh, flower, picnic, all this good stuff. In the meantime, they just keep you in your head. They just keep you occupied. Like I say, a master of manipulator. The devil and the magician. Well, hello. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. the eight of swords. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We work together. Let's work together. Let's let's do this together let's this is so i feel like someone in here is signing a marriage license marriage certificate something moving in together see two of ones we are the distance together it's time for us to come together it's time to make this relationship work but someone is hiding the truth very well king of pentacles 
I told you, so is Virgo Capricorn. Someone is about to be signing the all the things that they need to sign because they told so is Virgo Capricorn. They, and then that, let's get married. Let's get it done. Talk about the Knight of Cups. I want to see who's the Knight of Cups. Aquarius energy. The star. Prince Charming. Coming with the White Horse. Sweet Cinderella. <laughs> oh my goodness. Clifford the star. Oh, who the true is coming out. The truth is coming out. Someone wants to victory in this situation. Someone is getting enlightened. Two of pentacles. Someone was juggling the situation to try to figure it out. But like I said, you can't juggle the, the lies. The truth is coming out. And let's clarify this devil, uh, sexy Capricorn here. <laughs> Instead of the devil, sexy Capricorn. The way of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Someone in here is in two relationship. Two relationship. Then they try to cover one up because they are getting married. And they try to make sure the other person doesn't find out. See? Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is in the reverse. Someone is trying to end it, a relationship here. There is the ace of words is that someone like nope this relationship we're gonna have to end it but someone is is juggling two relationship with the ace of ones flowing over us and we have the knight of swords oh the truth it shall set someone free here will of fortune someone is in a relationship with the devil the only thing is that it might be online the Knight of Swords is in the airways. So it might be online. The only thing is that there is no sexual connection. But it, there is someone in here that's in a relationship with someone long distance. They have no idea this person is married. And they try to work over time to keep this because they are dealing with Prince Charming. Every time Prince Charming um, go to work or every time Prince Charming come to, you know, wherever it is, someone in here is dealing with someone like that. It's charming. And the truth is about two blows over. Ah, wow. Because Libra, you over here and the Empress is doing you, doing your thing. <laughs> Clever the page of pentacles, please. Four of swords. Yeah, like I said, someone is just pretending nothing happened. The four of swords, this is someone that's right here that's doing nothing with the page, see? You know what I'm feeling here? Okay, Libra. So, this page of pentacles here is in, is in jail, prison, or whatever. Someone is in prison or in jail. Four of swords, the eight of swords, someone is in jail. And someone is dealing, someone wants to marry the person that in jail, king of pentacles, while they're dealing with you. Bam, there you go. And like I say, you're dealing with someone is that that covered this the whole thing. Someone know how to manifest they coming as the devil. They're manifesting. Uh, like I say, you're dealing with them. <laughs> the the reason that the, Natasha, how do you know that? I don't know because I'm goddess of life. There's no sex going on with these two people. Whomever this the Capricorn, uh, whomever that's in the Capricorn energy, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn here, there was no sexual relationship with these two people because someone in here, Page of Pentacles, they are locked up. Clarify the magician. <laughs> the death cards and the revert. Reverse, dealing with the Scorpio that keep the relationship stagnant because this person want to be with the person that in prison or in jail. Clarify the, the death card in the reverse. Yeah, the, the relationship is stagnant. What I told you guys, can make this up. This person keep the relationship stagnant. They are mani manipulate whomever they are with. They're not telling anybody about it because they want to be with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, which is more like a Taurus that is locked up. 
Well, 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 what do we have here? Let's clarify the page of ones, shall we? Wow. Yeah, balance is going to come to the situation. Temperance to be dealing with this uh, Sagittarius. Huh? The truth will set someone free. I told you guys, the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. It's of sorts. It's of sorts. And shit is going to hit different. And someone is going to be hardworking here. Ooh, Libra. Someone is going to be, I feel like someone is going to break your heart. Or oh, you want to break someone's heart. Let me see three of swords. This is three of swords here. Your reading is over. I mean, I had to tell the juicy story and stuff like that for you guys because, yeah, someone is going to be very sad and regretful and remorse about what they did. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Queen of Cups. Look at that. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Online talking to someone else. They want to heal a relationship with. They want to be partner with. Getting married and all, all that good stuff. I'm out. Your Honor, I rest my case. I rest my gas. Wow. Self-acceptance. You know, they're asking you here to love yourself first because, like I say, you're dealing with someone who's very conniving, very deceitful. Even with, we have the devil, we don't have, we have the devil, we don't have the seven of swords, but we have the magician in here. See? Bam. I was my kiss. I'm telling you, see? A no. The universe is going to tell you, you need to run away from this person. Whatever you are thinking, it's a no because, like I say, someone in here doesn't love you. They want to be with someone else. They're keeping you. They're just keeping you for the moment. And love yourself first. Accept yourself for who you are. Because someone else is playing you. They're playing you. You're dealing with the, de the devil. They, someone is, is playing you. Because they want to be with someone else. All right, my lovely Libras. I'm sorry you're reading. But at least you know now. I love you guys. Bye, Libra.